Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Lenny, as always. I mean, it's morning for me. It might not be morning for you, but I am currently making some pot stickers. In fact, I just lied. It's it's eleven fifty eight fifty nine. So it's pretty much noon. Um, no longer morning. I guess I'm just starting the day a little bit late today. But um, yeah, we got some new parts in. I have the front lip for the Genesis, and I have to go rip that open. So let's go check it out. Here's the lip. It looks bigger than it actually is, I'm sure. But we're gonna go ahead and rip this thing open and go test mock it and see if it looks good on the car. I'm gonna put you guys down for a second. When I get this thing all the way out, then I'll show you. <laughs> Okay, take this because it has all the hardware in it, but here's the front lip, oh it's stuck in there, cool, um, let's go ahead and go out and see if it looks any good on the car, it looks pretty dented in right there, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, hopefully it goes back into place. Uh, I don't know. Okay, a little update for you guys. I tried to put the uh, front lip on, but it seems like it's not quite right. You can see that this whole section right here seems to be dented in, and I actually don't know how it's supposed to sit, so it's not mocking up to the bumper very well. But yeah, see how much like that goes in? It just kind of divots, so I wonder. I reached out to the seller. Hopefully they can help me out with that. But, um, yeah, and like parts of it are just bulging, so I don't know if I really like the quality of this piece. It seems way too flexible, which is good if you're going to run over stuff all the time, but it seems like it's just like, look at that, that doesn't look right, you know what I mean? I'm probably going to return that lip. It does not fit. Scoot! Bye, Scoot. Um... And number two is we're warming up the gen right now. We're gonna go ahead and run over to Ruben's place and uh, give him some of the stuff we need to finish up the Evo. Or I guess give him the money for some of the stuff we need to finish up the Evo. He's hooked it up with some injectors and a bigger fuel pump which is what we'll need. We're gonna run the 2150cc injectors. Um, the reason for that is so that when you do tune for say 500, 550 horsepower, we're not maxing out the injector duty cycle, so that'll be better. And I've heard that the bigger CC injectors actually help with idle smoothness and performance. So, we're just gonna go ahead, pull the trigger, buy once, cry once, then we're ready for any horsepower gains um, from maybe say a turbo upgrade or whatever in the future. So that'll be great. But yeah, warming up the gen right now. We should be ready to go. We'll head over to Ruben's, check out some of the Evos that he has at his place. And uh, yeah, drop off some of that cash flow. And then we should be ready to go get moving on this freaking thing. Man, I'm so excited to have an Evo again. Hopefully within the next two weeks, we can get that thing tuned and all that. Uh, I pulled up to the house, um, is the blue house, but there's no cars in the driveway so I passed it like three times before I could actually find it because I did not have the address saved but I know how to get here and I was just looking around I was like where the fuck are the Evos bro? <laughs> But yeah, it's a good thing they parked them on the inside of the garage. But yeah, I dropped off the money. There wasn't much um, in terms of like showing off cars. So I guess the family's sick. So better leave them to that and not get sick and just head on home. And today we're gonna go ahead and install the interior footwell lighting. Hopefully, uh, I know I've been kind of slacking on things for YouTube and all that. My legs are dead right now. I went on this crazy 20 mile backpacking expedition this weekend. And we pretty much killed the whole 20 miles in two days. So out and back. I am so dead, dude. Like I couldn't even walk this morning or yesterday. So yeah. 
yeah, I, <laughs> there's no way I was getting under a car or anything like that um, until today. And even today, it's still like, whew, it's pretty rough, dude. So, yeah, well, we'll see what happens when we get home. Hopefully, I can uh, get that installed so we actually have footwell lighting. 370Z, it's pretty clean. Go for it. Go. Woohoo! probably won't even be able to tell but I've got like 10 mosquito bites right on top of my forehead I've got like five more on the sides of my face and like both of my elbows are completely shot like it is it's been a rough couple days like I feel like my arms have just been so puffy and like burning the entire time and I just want to scratch them all the time it's so bad for you to scratch them like they just it takes longer for them to go away but it feels so nice and then it feels like shit afterwards. It's like, oh my God, dude. Yeah, suffice to say, I probably won't be doing a 20 miler anytime soon again. I'll probably do like way smaller hikes for a while. I think a five in, five out is way better, like a 10 mile round trip. But I, I typically really enjoy hiking, like a lot. So yeah, this was absolute hell. Like I just, I just wanted to die. I think at one point in the hike, I actually said, dude, I might just die here. And I was not exaggerating because my legs, both of my like quads were just locked up and I was trying to go uphill and every step I took, it was just like excruciating pain. The mosquitoes were a clatter on my face. We sprayed so much bug spray, dude. Like I, I took the can and sprayed it at the cloud of fucking mosquitoes. They just swam right through. They were like, nah, I don't care. So uh, we gotta find a better bug spray method. I think somebody said extractive vanilla works really well, but, or psh, extractive vanilla, vanilla extract. But uh, yeah, hopefully I won't have to test that anytime soon. <laughs>